Hey, bud. It's our first dog-friendly Moab trip because Brewster has joined the family. Been to Moab five or six times, never with my puppy before, but we're starting off with one of my favorite hikes, Corona Arch. It is a beautiful trail. It's not too challenging, although there are a couple spots where it gets a little bit tricky for dogs, but it's not in Arches National Park. So you still get the arch without having to go in the park. So you can actually bring your pup on the trail, which is really nice, but 2.4 miles round trip. It is well worth it. And especially if you have the pup. You ready? Hey Brewster. Hi. <laughs> We've reached a spot that's a little bit tricky with dogs. You can kind of see there's like the, the rope that goes up. So I've done it with bigger dogs and they kind of just run right up and they're totally fine. We are gonna put him in a backpack. All right, we got you in the backpack. You ready to go? <laughs> I think you're ready. Made it all the way to the arch. Beautiful. Not too many people. The weather is perfect. And Brewster, you did great. You did so good, buddy. Yeah, and you're so cute too. Brewster, hi. Brewster made it into the group shot. <laughs> First hike went so well, we are on the hike number two of the day. We're doing Mill Creek Trail, so he gets to experience some water crossings for the first time. Here we go. Rooster, is this your first time in a river? Go on, buddy. Oh, good job. Good job. Made it to the falls. Beautiful. Who do you think? Hi, you did so good. Hey buddy, did you do a good job? Hey Booster, Booster, did you do a good job? Did you? Oh, you got some red dirt on your nose. Ah. Yep, that's not our dog's poop. Neither is that. You just pooped the once and we got it. Don't be these people and leave all your poop bags everywhere. We're carrying, what do you have, four or five? Something like that, five. Just take it with you. Just pick up after your pup and take it with you. This is the trickiest part for the pups, and it's right at the beginning, right at the end. You can carry them. Some of them are fine just going in the water. Those two love it. I don't know, how are we gonna do it, Brewster? So it's one of the most dog-friendly ways, obviously, to stay in Moab is camping. It's easy, I've done it before. There's a lot of BLM campgrounds, so you don't necessarily have to do the reservation system, which is really nice, it has its like, advantages and disadvantages. But this time, we decided to do a stay at the Gravity House because they're so dog friendly. We've stayed with them in Vail before and their puppies are always so beautiful and then so like incredibly dog friendly. Like, you walk in and there's a dog bowl waiting for you. And this one, the pool and hot tub area, is especially nice. Last hike of the trip, we decided to sneak in Jeep Art, which neither of us had ever done before. And of course, Brewster hadn't either. And it's very, very cool. Take a look. It looks like a Jeep. Now we're inside the arch. Mr. Buddy, what did you think? You did so good. Hi.
Are you taking a little puppy break? What do you think, bud? You ready to go? All in all, really loved this trail, but at the loop, we went left, which I would recommend doing. You get the best view of Jeep Arch as you're coming up to it. However, we definitely got lost a few times. Make sure you've got the all trails downloaded, ready to go. So we added quite a bit of time just searching for the trail and looking around. If you go to the right, it's more direct. You just don't have quite the same view as you have the other way. So kind of depends on what you want, but I don't know, I take a little more challenge in the view anytime. That's a wrap on our dog friendly weekend in Moab. We were just saying how we wish we had one more night to do a few more hikes, but I think he's pretty tired. Uh, but I am gonna put all the information on all these hikes and then a couple of the other dog friendly ones that are, you know, maybe a little bit more big dog friendly. This is a puppy, so we did some of the smaller ones. All of that is on approachableoutdoors.com and we're gonna be doing dog free road trips from Colorado all summer long. So if you've got a little pup and you wanna follow along, feel free to subscribe.